end of the financial year 2022-23 and before the ending of the financial year the accountants of the companies are busy getting the details of the investment from their employees if you are one of them then this video is for you hello everyone i am saloni from webtel in this video we are going to discuss the reason why all the employees are receiving calls from their accountants at this point of time between february and march and asking for the investment details like a life insurance policy health insurance policy donation etc in the quarter 4 only as the employers are already deducting the tds from the previous three quarters also so stay tuned and before starting this video i would like to request you to subscribe to our youtube channel webtel electrosoft to get regular compliance updates salary details additional annexure in form 24q quarter 4 return as we all know deductor need to file a form 24q on the quarterly basis while deducting the tds on the salary employee details salary details employee details are the mandatory details that need to be filed by the deductors in all the quarters but salary details are the additional details which they need to file in form 24q in fourth quarter only so the question arises why higher tds is deducted in the month of march as 31st march is the last day of the financial year ensure that you have deposited the minimum amount in tax savers such as public provident fund mutual funds etc if the minimum amount is not deposited then the accounts will become the inactive and to avoid the higher tds deduction in the month of march you need to show the investment details so we need to understand why investment details are required and in which regime as we all are aware that a person has a choice or you can say as he has a choice then they can opt for the old regime as well as the new regime because the new regime comes with the lower or concessional tax rates but without the common tax exemptions and deductions so in case if a person is going to opt for the new regime then they will not be able to get the benefits of the investments or if they are going to show the investment details then there will be no use but if you are going to opt for the old regime then you will be able to get the benefit from paying the higher taxes so let's discuss about that so you can show the investment details like lic receipts you can show ppf amount you can show rental details if any to avoid the hra or you can say to have an exemptions under the hra home loan interest if you are paying then you can show and any other incomes considered including the salary can be shown under the investments is investment not enough like if you have made an investment in the sip and mutual funds medi claims or term insurance then you will get a benefit but if you are not having the investments then you will not be able to get the benefits of the exemptions and deductions as well so what are the benefits of the investment declarations why a person need to show their investment declaration in the quarter 4 only first point is to get the relief from paying the higher taxes and you will also be able to get the higher enhanced salary and why investment details are required by the employer basically employer need to file a form 24q that contains two annexures annexure 1 and annexure 2 annexure 1 has to be submitted in all the four quarters that will contain the detail of the amount of payment tax deducted and deposited but the annexure 2 has to be submitted only in the quarter 4 annexure 2 is not required to be submitted for the first 3 quarters annexure 2 has to be submitted in the last quarter which would be jan to march so this would be the annexure 1 which would be containing the details like bsr code date of deposit chalan serial number or you can say the chalan details would be reflecting in the annexure 1 along with the breakup of your deducted details 
an excel 2 of the form 24q would be containing the details of your salary like the pan number name of the employee and also the detail of the tax regime would be reflecting like if the person has opted for the new regime or the old regime then the option would be reflecting as yes or no and the date of the employment would also be reflecting over here gross salary amount would be reflecting work detail would be reflecting over here so you can see in the annexure two details of the salary would be reflecting in the form 24q annexure two reported amount of the salary if you have received any salary from the previous employer would be reflecting travel concession or if any exemptions are there under the travel concession would be reflecting over here gratuity amount if any commuted pension cash equivalents hra exemption amount would be reflecting and after all the exemptions total amount of the deduction would be reflecting under this column similarly other details would also be reflecting total deduction amount salary chargeable under the head would be reflecting over there and if a person has any loan amount or if they are paying any loan interest amount on their housing loan then they will be able to show that amount also to get a relief from the higher taxes in that case they need to show the pan number of the lender similarly you can show the other details also and after that gross total amount would be reflecting then comes the detail of the deductions so here you will be able to see the columns in which your amount would be reflecting like if you have any provident fund investment or if you have any life insurance premium then you need to show the amount over there and after the calculation of each and every deduction your total taxable amount would be reflecting at the end so this would be the process and after the filing of the return an employee will be able to receive a form 16 investment proof would be there taxable salary amount would be calculated and tds deduction amount would also be reflecting after the filing of the returns so to avoid the higher deduction of taxes you just need to show the investment details as earlier as possible in the last two months so this is all about the investment details which you need to show in the quarter four return now let's discuss about how we can show the investment detail in our web ETDS. to show the investment detail as well as the salary detail you just need to go to the tax reduction and then you just need to click on salary detail the list of all the employees will appear over here and in which employee you want to enter the data you just need to double click on that employee for example if we are going to select this employee and then the salary detail of the employees will appear over here and then you can enter the investment detail to avoid the tax for the remaining months so, like you can show the details of the ATC, C, triple C and in ATC many more options are also there so if you want to enter the details you just need to double click on that and then you can enter the options available here like if you want to enter the tuition fee amount then you need, just need to enter the amount and then you just need to click on save button and after saving the data in the salary detail your data will reflect in the annexure 2 and to check the annexures you just need to go to the reports option then you just need to select the form 24q quarter 4 and after clicking on quarter 4 salon details salary details perk detail deducted details salon wise deducted detail will appear over here and to check the annexure detail you just need to click on view return and after clicking on view return form 24q will appear over here along with the annexures a form will appear like this so in this form you will be able to see two annexure details like first one is related to deductive wise breakup of salary or you can say deductive wise breakup of TDS which you need to file in all the quarters but annexure 2 will only reflect in quarter 4 so in the annexure 2 detail of the employees like PAN number, name, 
whether the person has opted for the new redeem will appear over here date of employment gross salary value of books profit in lieu of salary and then the total amount of the current employer will appear over here and in case the employee is having the detail from their previous employer then the details of the previous employer will also reflect over there so in the annexure 2 of form 24q you will be able to see or you will be able to check the salary detail bifurcation over here which will be reflecting only in the quarter 4 so hurry up to avoid the higher taxes in the quarter 4 i hope by now you must be able to understand why all the accountants are busy getting the details from their employer before 31st of march and why as an employee you need to show the investment details before the filing of form 24q quarter 4 return if you found this video helpful then visit the link mentioned in the description below and let us know in the comment section for any doubts and queries, drop a comment down below and we will get back to you. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next Tuesday, we will be coming up with another interesting video to make compliances better for you. Till then, stay safe and stay tuned with us for a better compliance journey.